Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. It's The In Show, Australia's only show dedicated to innovation from Adelaide, Australia and across the globe. Hi, it's David Grice and Troy Simcock and today was the first day of Hybrid World Adelaide at the Tonsley Innovation Precinct. It's a really exciting new technology festival for South Australia held across five days and there's a myriad of public activities, there's a conference, a development lab for new projects and inventions and a really great opportunity to explore the many ways the real and digital worlds are intertwined. Now today was the official opening with registrations kicking off in the afternoon, the industry welcome posed the question, what will robo-society look like? And that was followed by a party showcasing music from the digital age. David Grice from the In Show was there. Who'd you catch up with at Hybrid World Adelaide today? Thanks, Troy. Well, the opening of Hybrid World Adelaide was just fantastic, and we heard from many speakers talking about all sorts of things, like South Australia's Wellbeing and Resilience Centre, smart cities, the unexpected things on offer at the Museum of Discovery, virtual hospitals, driverless vehicles, and by far my favourite was Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro, who created a robotic replica of himself, and I'll actually be sitting down with Hiroshi tomorrow. Really looking forward to that one. I'm with Matt Salia from Flinders New Venture Institute. Now, Matt, you spoke today about entrepreneurs needing to have a growth mindset. So can you tell us what that means for you? Yeah, thanks, David. Look, w- you know, we at Flinders and at the New Venture Institute really believe in helping you know, students and also those outside of our community directly explore what it means to grow something that with the technology we have available, with the, the infrastructure we have available that is beyond themselves, beyond their city, beyond their state, beyond their country. And, and technology enables that, but it's really about the, the mindset to think beyond that. What are the business models? What are the ways that you're actually going to um, think about opportunity when, you know, to be frank, in, in Adelaide, it's a wonderful city. We're in a small city state, right? So we need to uh, build a different way of thinking for them to explore those opportunities. There's lots of ideas out there, but how do we help execute? on that how do we help that growth mindset really exist and so that's also about looking beyond our shores and and looking internationally for the opportunities as well yeah and and you know even more than that really realizing that those uh, you know the things that you aspire to the the Elon Musk that you see in the world the Jeff Bezos you can create that here in Adelaide and you know we're here sitting in Tonsley from part of this amazing hybrid world uh uh, festival we we get to live and breathe here every day it's an amazing place full of possibilities what we need to do and the growth mindset for us is about opening up the blinkers just a little bit you know not throwing them away necessarily but helping people realize that there's there's more than the the thousand users they might get in Adelaide but the the million users they might get you know one of the stats I gave in one second in China 3.5 million WeChat messages are processed yeah, this is the scale that we have to think about what, what does that mean for the the product or service here developing what does that mean for the business model you're starting to stress test here in Adelaide perfect place to do that but if you're not thinking about that 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 scale issue you're really you're limiting the opportunities that are available to you so you also talked about the VUCA world um, so can you tell us what that actually means and uh, and perhaps explain it a little bit for our listeners yeah so so VUCA is a military term uh, you know it talks about volatility uncertainty complexity ambiguity and you know in the military it means really understanding how to make self-autonomous um, action happen in the battlefield or in the theatre of war when you've got um, a very hierarchical structure, right? So it's ambiguity, it's uncertainty, but within a structure. So the VUCA world for me is is what we're in at the moment. We have all these structures. We're trying to understand what and how they work now that things have changed so much. You know, I'm not competing against uh, the universities down the road or interstate. We're competing against the startup in, the, in its backyard at the moment, building an educational product that will try and break our business. So, you know, that, that VUCA world is really about accepting the fact that that change is, is ever present and giving you the skills and the abilities to, to grapple with it. How do, we, how do we build those, what we're calling innovation enterprise skills into people to, to go with that and not be overwhelmed, not be um, daunted by the prospect of, of not knowing. The future is very pixelated. How do, we, how do we move forward without knowing the full picture? We have to build the right competencies, the right behavioural traits in people to understand that space. The week ahead, Hybrid World Adelaide, what is exciting you most about the program? It's a, it's a crazy thing, isn't it? Like, I mean, this afternoon has been great. You know, a wonderful um, 
you know, smattering of all different ways that uh, we're seeing amazing things happen in South Australia. You know, for us, you know, at, at the New Venture Institute in Flinders, we're supporting the program really extensively. We've got the labs happening over, over the weekend where we'll see a whole bunch of, of emerging South Australian startups and entrepreneurs come in, again, stress test their business models with international mentors, with, with uh, new ways of thinking. So I'm really looking forward to that, those particular two days in our building, you know, playing with some of the amazing labs we have, and, and really seeing where we can take in 48 hours, essentially, those, those businesses that are already doing some amazing things, but with that international injection and the, the thought leadership that this, uh, this conference is providing. Nigel Smart from the Adelaide Football Club joins me. Um, what brings the Crows into the world of technology at Hybrid World Adelaide? I think it's uh, just understanding that the fan is changing. Um, we have a really strong and avid fan, and they fill our stadium. But at the same time, we're conscious that the young fan, the, the new fan, the millennial that's growing up is, is changing and they're, they're consuming their content differently. They're, they're really wanting things when they want them. And as a sporting club, we need to be conscious of that. And certainly from a, a football perspective, we're, we're changing the way we do things and um, building out our digital footprint um, and really driving hard in terms of our Twitter and our Facebook, in terms of video, um, expanding those video capabilities and then Look, investing in esports in terms of a, another platform of engagement. So, engaging with the people that are on the esports thing is this—is this about expanding the brand of the Crows, or, or is this about something uh, diversifying a little bit of the income for the for the the side as well? You know, it's all about growth. Um, yes, there's commercial growth. There's new partner opportunities, but it's also then broadening out okay our cross border activities. So, esports is a global sport um, in a range of games. Whereas the AFL is, is pretty much defined by Australia. Um, the fans for League of Legends or Counter-Strike or any of those particular games, it's global and the audience is global and we've got an opportunity then to reach and engage with that audience and to, to build out what we are as a club, which is really a community sporting club. Um, and our purpose is to bring people together to achieve great things and, and really we're doing that with esports. At the moment we have 35 players, they're spread geographically all over Australia. We bring them together to um, compete against the very best and we want them to um, be the best in Australia and then compete internationally. So speaking of those, those competitors, you've got some fairly high level uh, competitors already on the team? Oh look, um, what you'll find with uh, gamers are they're super competitive, they're super passionate and uh, they really like to win. So um, our League of Legends team is, um, look, a top three in Australia. Um, our Smite team is number one. Our Smash player is number one in Australia. Um, our StarCraft 2 player is number 15 in the world. So we've got some great teams um, and they're all competitive and they all want to play internationally. So you touched earlier on partnerships. Uh, you've just uh, announced a partnership with Hybrid World Adelaide as well. Yeah, like Hybrid World, uh, it's an innovative startup. It's um, a technology conference. And certainly we want to be uh, uh, a participant and to help build out this conference. And eSports is a, a, growing, a growing sport. Um, by 2020, there'll be 500 million um, participants or eSports enthusiasts and viewers, okay, participating in eSports. So... Look, Hybrid World will sit quite nicely where we can engage from a football club point of view, what we are currently good from a club point of view in terms of the monetization, building a, an event, um, ticketing, sponsorship, uh, building our, our digital engagement, and then bringing the high performance elements of esports together. So when I heard about the, uh, the land tournament for League of Legends happening on Friday, bringing uh, uh, schools together and uh, the Department of Education, um, I think it's a great initiative and one we want to be part of. So, talking about the week ahead for us, um, what's one of the highlights, or what, what are some of the highlights that, uh, that you're looking forward to? Oh, in hybrid world? I think um, it's, it's primarily being surprised. Um, even the speakers today, like you can read a bio, you can read a little bit about what they're doing, but um, just meeting uh, new and in in interesting people like uh, um, a gentleman, Meow, He's uh, putting implants into his body. He's building out a business. Um, it is a bit weird, but it's, I'm curious. I'm um, wanting to know more about the why. Um, and I think those types of surprises are, are really what I'm looking for at Hybrid World. 
let alone all the, the various good stories of technology and the use of technology. I think it's those surprises and hidden gems that I'm <laughs> and characters I, I like to engage with. Meow Ludo joins me now. Uh, Meow has a fascinating story and uh, he's founded the biohacking movement in Australia. So Meow, what got you into this space? Yeah, so I wasn't doing fantastically well at university, but I was really passionately engaged uh, with molecular biology. And I was, uh, as I was going through my degree, I realized that a lot of aspects of it weren't actually that difficult. And I decided to see what people around the world were doing. And I found a group of people uh, overseas in America who were doing things like building their own equipment and doing this in a public space and often not, uh, not with molecular biologists. So they're teaching software devs, they're um, uh, taking artists in, into the laboratory and seeing what kind of uh, comes about when you get all that cross-pollination. I got really excited about it, tried to find someone in Australia doing uh, the same thing, and I couldn't find anyone. So I figured I better start it, otherwise I'll never get to uh, do this thing. So w- what kinds of things do you do? Um, is it like a group of people that are like-minded that get together, or are you doing other things as well? Yeah, I'm doing lots. So um, in the lab at the moment, we have... Sushant, who's working on a bioplastic. So this would aim to replace a lot of food packaging and it's actually made from prawn shells. So he dissolves them and then reforms them into a new shape. Uh, There's a 16-year-old girl who's doing plant tissue culture. So she's cloning uh, eggplants and tomatoes and testing out different methods and growing plants inside jars. And... uh, whole range of other other projects going on as well as uh, Alex Kelly's making low-cost insulin for the third world using the same genetic engineering techniques that they use to produce it commercially and then I'm working on a an implant that will go into livestock to track their health and biometrics so talking about implants you're a human that has implants as well yeah I'm a cyborg so I've got three implants um, two of them are reprogrammable NFC chips and they can do things like activate or authenticate me when I'm uh, interacting with uh, electronic devices, but probably the most common use is that I can use it to control different things on a phone. So sometimes you can use it to unlock the the screen, but you can also use it to unlock a door, start a car, or you could use it to, uh, one of my implants allows me to catch public transport using the implant, yeah. So how's that changed your life? I think one academic, and I think she's actually here, she said it was the dumbest superpower ever. (laughs) But it's actually really convenient. So um, I never think about where my Opal card is. I see people like sifting through their bags as I used to. Um, it, it becomes completely subconscious. I just walk up, tap my hand, hop on, tap my hand when I hop off. I can have a hamburger in one hand and a coffee in the other like I do every morning and I never have to worry about putting stuff down. The thing is, it's just a thing I should never have to worry about that now I don't have to worry about. So, <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. So talking about Hybrid World, um, you're here for the event. What What is your biggest highlight that you're looking forward to this week? Yeah, so I'm participating in the um, HWA Lab at the end where a group of, I think it's about 12 startups are going to compete for some, uh, some money but go through a mentorship process and it's geared heavily towards early stage startups. And I started a business three weeks ago, so I'm really excited to... Uh, gain some of the valuable business advice and mentorship that's going to be offered across those two days. Well, that wraps me up for today, Troy. The party's just getting started and I'm about to get off and grab a red. I'm really looking forward to this week and all of the exciting people we're going to meet along the way. So back to you, Troy. Thanks, David. A great first day at Hybrid World Adelaide. Well, that was the in-show podcast from the Tonsley Innovation Precinct. The in-show is a Hybrid World Adelaide media partner. Subscribe on iTunes and check out the theinshow.online. More inspiring minds and innovation from the Technology Festival again tomorrow on the in-show. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to oscastnetwork.com for details.